Well, it took them five years, but Marvel Studios finally got there. The Iron Heart show is a go, and wouldn't you know, little old Riri Williams isn't a hero. Didn't actually mean for that to rhyme. At the Disney D23 event, they revealed the trailer for the upcoming Ironheart miniseries. Marvel Studios announced the show back in 2020, and I had nothing positive to say about it, because in the comics, Riri Williams is a terrible person, and she's been written that way by damn near everyone who's ever touched the character, including her creator, Brian Michael Bendis. For those who don't know, Bendis created Ironheart because he adopted a black child and felt that there were no black characters in Marvel Comics who his daughter could identify with, so he made a character named Riri Williams, a black girl from the South Side of Chicago, the South Shore to be exact. Her father, Demetrius, who was also called Riri, a name I've never heard given to a man before, gets shot and killed in a robbery. Then her mother, Ronnie, because of course she's got a man's name, remarries, and one day at a family picnic when Riri's 13, there's a drive-by shooting, and her best friend and stepfather get killed. This is the actual story. I'm not making up any of this. This is the actual origin of the character. So, it turns out Riri Williams is a super genius, gets a scholarship to MIT, and while there, steals parts from the school and one of Iron Man's suits to make a knockoff suit she can take credit for creating. Now, I figured that when Marvel Studios adapted the story, they keep the inexplicable triple homicide origin, but ditch the whole beef in the night angle. Well, I figured wrong, because that's what's in the trailer. Someone leaked it online, so I watched it. In the trailer, Riri gets kicked out of MIT for stealing parts to build her suit, then meets up with some dude who helps her steal more parts from other people. The whole trailer is about Riri being a thief and how this is perfectly fine because she needs to explore her genius. Obviously, I can't show the trailer to prove this because I'd get the video pulled, but Variety did a write-up about it, so I'll read what they wrote just to prove I'm not lying about the trailer. Quote, Marvel Studios revealed a sneak peek of the upcoming Disney Plus series Ironheart for the audience at the D23 Expo on Friday. The show continues the story of Riri Williams, who made her MCU debut in 2022's Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and the footage was very much in keeping with the aesthetics of that film. After I dropped my internship abroad, I felt stuck, Riri says, referring to her time in Wakanda. I want to build something undeniable. To do that, however, she says she needs some cash money, which leads her to Parker Robbins, who dons a magical hood to get... <laughs> just... Now that I think about it, it's just really silly. This nigga puts on a fucking hood and that's how he gets his power. Never mind. <laughs> his magical hoodie. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We continue. Who dons a magical hood that gives him access to the dark arts, setting up a clash between him and the scientifically driven Riri. At one point, Parker faces off against Alden Ehrenrich's character, Joe McGillicuddy. Anyone who's ever accomplished anything in life had to do some questionable things to get it done, Parker says. They're really sugarcoating what happens in the trailer because at no point does Riri seem bothered by stealing the parts or fighting the people trying to stop her from doing it. The trailer makes it seem like Riri's genius isn't being recognized, so she's doing what she needs to do so she can keep building things. You'd think someone working on the show would try to fix Riri's origin story so that she doesn't come across as shady or as borderline villainous, but no. And if you're familiar with the comics, you know that she eventually does become a villain in all but name. At one point, she takes over Dr. Doom's country of Latveria, declares herself the leader, and then cops an attitude when everyone else goes, you know you're not allowed to do that, right? I don't know how much of that the show will lean into, but most of Riri's stories from the comics involve her doing something questionable and then getting mad when someone tells her to stop. You know, like that time she got mad at her white teacher when she wouldn't be racist on command. She expected the teacher to tell her that she couldn't be a scientist because she was black and female, and when the white teacher wouldn't do that, Riri literally stared this woman down for two and a half pages until the woman was like, you know what, I guess you can't be Tony Stark. I wonder if they're going to put that in the story. Either way, it's not a good sign to have Riri starting off the show as a thief, especially after the events of Black Panther 2. You'd think someone working at Wakanda would help her out, but again, apparently no. I'm sure that the trailer will eventually be released online, so everyone will get the chance to cheer for Riri Williams stealing from the rich to give to herself. But what do I know? I'm just some guy. 